位观众，我是金宇熙。有一些歌星，他二十多岁的时候，也许是很流行、很 popular， 但是到我四十多岁以后呢，也许就没人知道他们了。呃，今天我们的嘉宾叫不是这样，二十多岁的时候可以说是中国一个大的歌星，非常非常受欢迎。现在他已经到五十岁了，他还是非常受欢迎。我非常高兴今天我们能够请到费翔来我家做客。费翔，你在世博会倒数三十天的音乐会里面，你选了一首歌叫《想飞》。Want to fly? Why? Well, you know, I think Expo is a you know exciting、um, event, and so you know I chose a song that was more uplifting. I, I generally actually like to sing sad ballads, you know, a lot more. more. Love song. I love songs a lot, but、um, but for a show like that, especially a big, you know, it was on the Bund, and everybody was very happy and excited. So I thought I'd pick an up tempo. This time period, you you are in China. What are you doing in China? Well, you know, when I'm here working in China. You know, it's、um, it's a it's a great mixture of work. It's sometimes、uh, going on CCTV programs. You know, this month I'm going on three different programs for CCTV.、Uh, later tonight I'm tape you know I'm taping another show for、um, Shanghai Television. So singing. So it's all it's all you know music related. You 去了看世博园了吗 ？I haven't. You know, it's very funny. I had tickets. I had two tickets、uh, for the third of May. Okay, so I thought that would be a really great time to go. And I had friends from Singapore who flew up、uh, just a few days before that, and they were only in Shanghai for four or five days. And they kept looking at me with like wishful eyes, and I thought, oh, all right, all right, take them, you guys go. And、uh, because I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll have other opportunity, you know, when I'm here in Shanghai, I'll be able to go. But they were only here for that period of time. They were so excited because it was right during the opening. So, so I gave, I donated my tickets to them and let them go, and, and they loved it. That's such a good time. Yeah. 啊，这个世博会的时机，你还有演出的机会吗 ？Well, I mean, I, you know, I, it may be that you know, in July I'll be performing,、um, you know, in the China Pavilion for one of the、um, uh, provincial shows. And you know, we're discussing it now.、Uh, but, but, you know, I, I really, you know, mainly just want to go as a, just like any other, you know, person who lives in Shanghai. I want to go and get the excitement, the atmosphere. You know, I want, I actually want to go not performing. I just want to go and walk through and. Relax and hopefully、uh, just enjoy it, just like everybody else. 拥有混血儿的漂亮外表，让费翔在刚一出道的时候就让大家记住了他的这张脸。而说起费翔的父母，也是颇具传奇。这张照片中女子就是费翔的母亲。当时她在大街上被一个美国小伙子偷拍，被发现后，费翔的母亲非常气愤，恶狠狠地看着拍这张照片的美国小子。而令她没有想到的是，在小伙子的穷追不舍之后，他们居然走进了婚姻的殿堂，有了个儿子，取名叫费翔。你的英文名字叫做 Chris Phillips， 为什么叫做 Chris Phillips？ Well, it's interesting.、Um, you know, I, I, my birthday is Christmas Eve,、um, so you know, Chris really was like a nickname is spelled with a K, like Chris Kringle,、uh, like Santa Claus,、um, and so you know, it just、uh, you know has always been、uh, my name. I, I've you know, it's funny, gotten used to. Christmas Eve being my birthday, but when I was a child, I hated it honestly because on Christmas Eve nobody's paying attention to you. You know, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> everybody's busy shopping, wrapping presents, cooking.、Yeah. You know, so it really was the worst birthday on earth. I mean, very easy for people to remember, but but very bad. Yeah. For child. For child, absolutely. That Chinese name, what is Fei Xiang? Is how it came. Well, Fei actually came about because of my father. You know, my father was.、Um, Uh, studying Chinese、uh, at the time, I,、uh, you know, I give him a lot of credit because he, for a man, you know, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, you know, a young man、uh, in the 50s, to have the foresight and the interest in another culture to study Chinese. Right. At that time in America, it would have been really、uh, an amazing, yeah,、uh, thing for someone to choose and someone to do. But but he would not only have the the interest in Chinese culture, but then actually. When he met my mom to actually marry a Chinese woman and 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 have a, a family that's bicultural,、um, you know, in that in that era, I really give both of them a lot of credit. I think they they had to overcome、uh, at the time, you know, on each side a lot of cultural、uh, how should I say it、uh, resistance. Yes, yes. You know, because both sides. I'm sure when my when my mom first time she went with him to Pittsburgh to meet the family. 
you know, she's this little Chinese lady, you know, she's well-spoken yes. and attractive, but, but I'm sure the entire family in Pittsburgh, including my, you know, my father's parents, you know, they, they would have certainly, I mean, I'm sure they accepted her and they loved her, they did. But I'm sure they thought in the back of their minds, oh, you know, why couldn't you have just found a nice girl from Pennsylvania, <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah, and, you know, I think that uh, for my mom as well, you know, at the time, for Chinese culture at the time, uh, oh, yes. to marry a foreigner, you know, it was something. You know, nowadays, whenever I see, you know, so many uh, yeah. marriages between um, Europeans or Americans and, and Chinese people, I, uh, it makes me very, very happy, you know. Yeah, you know. yeah. in New York, I mean, it's, it's astonishing how many uh, Chinese women have married. Oh, okay. and here in Shanghai, I see uh, so many, and, and often I'll see their children. Who are little Eurasian children like me? You know, and I, I, just, I just think, yeah, you know, that's great. Well, uh, yeah. your eyes are real, right? You're not wearing contact lens, right? This is this is grayish blue. Is real? So that's my real eye color. Yeah. 我上次见你的时候是在纽约，啊，大约是二月份的时候。当时我主持了一个节目，这个节目呢就是中央电视台一个音乐会。这音乐会是庆祝中国同美国关系三十年，啊。当时呢，你有表演的，你唱了两首歌，而且呢，还说了一些很有趣的话。我们听听你说什么。I'm so happy、um, to be here,、uh, being able to take part in this very, very special concert. It has great meaning,、uh, maybe especially for me, because I am half Chinese and half American. <laughs> my mother is from Beijing, and my father is from Pittsburgh. How did that happen? I know. But what you see in front of you is a living, breathing result of a very, very early Chinese-American relations. <laughs> It was difficult when I was growing up、uh, how to define yourself culturally, but I do think that、um, it's been a great advantage for me, and especially as as my life has. Turned out,、um, in terms of the development of China and and its relationship to America. Your mother, we very much love her. She, we call her "fei mother." Um, we love her for many reasons. One of them is that she is a very good writer. Um, she is very modest. 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 Well, it's funny. She didn't first predict it. It was、um, it was her teacher. He was a, a very very famous astrologer.、Uh, he told her when he saw my chart, he said, "Oh, your son will be very very famous."、Um, and she was quite taken aback at the time because at the time I I'd just got into university,、mm -hmm. and I was not really aiming to be、uh, in the performing arts.、Uh, I was just still trying to figure out what I wanted to do.、Um, And when she heard that, you know, she just thought it was very strange. But、uh, she eventually took an interest in in、um, in astrology, and then she started studying with him.、Uh, he took her in as a student,、um, and then you know she started reading for people. And and since then, gosh, I mean, she she must have read for tens of thousands yes, of people,、yes. including you know、yes. all the you know you know from all levels of society. So、uh, she doesn't charge. No, she, she, no. She, 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 she just wants. She wants tasty food. <laughs> That's what she wants. She wants to be.、Uh, you know, she wants to have a good time. She wants、oh, to meet、wow. interesting people.、Yes. And、uh, and gosh, you know, she's really、uh, very very active for a woman who's almost 80 years old. I mean, she's you know every day. Fei Xiang's success is not without her voice. From 1987's National Radio Taiwan Spring Festival and the Bai Lao Hui's singing contest, to today's personal concert, her voice, together with her image, has become a lifelong memory of the Chinese people. Do you think you can sing this song? I actually had to be trained,、uh, especially when I went to、uh, New York in 1990 to work on Broadway. I underwent about a year of training,、um, not necessarily to change.、Um, Anything in terms of singing the natural voice, but actually in terms of endurance and how to、breathe. reliably, you know, produce tone, how to breathe properly, performers to avoid having vocal problems or develop. If you have bad habits in terms of singing, it's very easy for your voice to give out.
Um, so I think that that was the main thing that, that, that uh, my training helped me with. Do you uh, vocalize every day? Um, a little bit sometimes. Sometimes if I know I have a stretch of time, like if I'm on vacation and I go back to New York and I can be at home and relax, I actually will give my voice a rest, you know, because I don't really feel that it's necessary. But, but prior to performing, if I know I have a concert coming up, then about a week or two before I have to start vocalizing and getting, getting the voice into shape to do whatever it is, if it's six songs or if it's a two-hour concert, you have to prepare. It's a muscle, like anything, so it has to be tuned up, yeah. Willie有更好的演唱,从不放弃练声,Willie有更好的形象,从不沾主食,飞翔一如他出道的时候一样,几十年来一直对自己有着偶像般的严格要求,这或许也是他能够长久活跃在中外舞台上的秘诀吧。非常是一个这么帅的男孩子，我以为他一定是喜欢做电影的，但是他特别不喜欢做电影，使我非常惊讶。呃，我想每个人的命运都不一样，呃，非常的命运也许就是说要他注定作为一个很有名的歌唱家